here. Here we need to have some team, create some team, and we can add members to this team. So all those team members can access this repo directly, and they can push to this repo without forking it. Yeah. But the forking concept is used for open source projects, and this team concept is used for some company or internal projects. Okay. So what about like if one of the team made some like problem, like if the code is maybe broken at some point, how are you guys going to? For that, everybody has to push it into separate branch. <clears throat> they have to create some PHR branch or bug branch, something. Okay. okay. They just push it into that separate branch only. After checking the code and testing everything, then only they merge it into master. Okay. For that, they will have some... Um, master repo so nobody can move the push that directly mm. one more thing so you guys are comfortable with this adding and committing yeah yeah well, i'm okay with that pushing and pulling mm -hmm. changes from the git and yeah, I'm okay. Maybe I don't know. I know about that, but if some other guys still have to know, uh, like connecting a guitar with, uh, for example, with Visual Studio, uh, Code Studio. It's just basic, guitar just committing, committing and pulling the changes to guitar by not pushing things from there. <coughs> yeah. If everybody is okay with that, then we can. I haven't tried to do. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I haven't tried to do my um, uh, my terminal within VS Code lately. Yeah, you can do it from that VS Code itself directly. Yeah, my computer is uh, restarting. It. Sorry, guys. I got. Uh, I walked away to use the bathroom and I came back and my computer had died. So okay. I got kicked out for a moment there. Sorry guys. Let me see. But I'm trying to get things back online now. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. I hope I'm on the most up to date. Uh, well, I guess I can just. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I'm looking at the last one that I saved. <clears throat> if your computer shut down and restarted, what would be the best way to compare that what you're working on is the most up-to-date uh, copy of the document? Any ideas? The browser, you can get those, <clears throat> restore, you can restore those tabs. Yeah, I did. Um, I restored all my tabs. Um, I, I think I'm good. Okay. I might share my screen so it might benefit others to see this. Okay. <clears throat> Um, okay. So how how is it that I get the um, okay? Well, first I'm here working in. Uh, I was working in Mesfin's uh, portfolio. Okay, is this your portfolio? Uh, this was Mesfin's, and I was um, helping him with some typos, and um, <clears throat> then I had sent him. 
me just see. Yeah, I think but there is how, something. How would I make sure that <clears throat> I'm working with the most up-to-date uh, version of the document if I uh, restarted? <clears throat> would there be any way to check that from the terminal here? Or? I think if you save the changes, there will be, if you have any unsaved changes, I think it will loss. And one more thing, if you check that uh, Git, there are 5,000 above files. It's tracking everything, I think, from somewhere. If you see that 5K on that uh, your left side, uh, blue color. Uh, oh, the 5K, okay. Uh, that's, that is tracking, I think, some other files also. Okay, so I should just drill down to, into these. Uh, yeah. That's my other just one. Just check the git status in that uh, report. You will see uh, what files are uh, tracking. <coughs> How is it? Open that and can check the status. The, can I pull up the I can pull up the window here, right, for the terminal, right? Can you direct me where I need to go for that? <clears throat> to open the tunnel in VS Code? Yeah. Should I come? Should I come here in the? No, I think a little bit some. Terminal tab is enough after debug. Ah, there is a terminal tab. Ah, okay, so it's. In, in, in the debug. No, no. Yeah. You are on view tab. Just in the top menu, you have terminal. Not this one? Yeah. No, not that one. You are selecting that drop down menu from view. After view, you have go debug terminal in that menu. Check the top menu. Uh, Move the cursor to the top, that, all the way top. Yeah, oh, menu. okay. New tab. New tab. Well, I can use the shortcut yeah. is here though. Okay. So it's carrot yeah. symbol and then tilde. Uh, yeah. Okay. And also, you can pull that terminal from this blue line on the bottom. That is, there is a Okay, you can pull that from there. Okay, I haven't. I'm, I'm not as comfortable with VS Code. I've, I've come from Adam, but um, okay. I've seen people do this, is, and I have is done. It, uh, VS Code is really cool. But uh, yeah, I, I I know that this is really helpful. Yeah, here you can check once. Give that command git status. You will see there are a lot of files are tracking. Okay, so we're up to date. I think it's done. So you are a branch master. So when you start working on someone's or any code, just create some development branch or some any other branch and work in that branch. <coughs> I put, well, <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry, okay. it's cut off. Um, <coughs> just create a new branch and work on that branch so that you can keep this master branch clean. You don't need, okay. you don't mess up with any. This was a, uh, this was a version that I forked. And uh, so yeah, this is this is uh, portfolio one is one that I forked into uh, my GitHub. So it's a repo in my GitHub that's uh, yeah. connected to his master. That's portfolio, and mine is portfolio one. Does that make a difference? If is there any difference, you can check those difference on your GitHub. If you are, he's <sighs> not no not repo. different. Does it uh does it matter that uh, the location of my repo is uh, this this repo I've I've positioned into uh, my GitHub and it's yeah. uh, merging to the portfolio that's the original that's in his uh, his GitHub. No, it only go to your GitHub. Right. Unless you create a PR. Exactly, exactly. Um, but you're saying it's best to, uh, best practice create to create a new, a, uh, a new branch. New branch. Yeah. Okay. So that you won't mess up that uh, master branch. Everything, if you miss, mess up something, you can clean, get back to your master and create a new copy also. You are satisfied with that uh, work, uh, you can mess that from branch saying. to master. Yeah. No, that I see what you're saying. That makes sense. 
makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, so from here. In the companies, they generally create branch with a feature name where they're working and they just work in that branch. Once they complete that feature, they merge it into the master. Okay, the master's and for, for backup. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, like a production ready. I see. Code. It's I like see. a production ready course. So the experiment is the branch. And yeah, in the branch. Okay. If Interesting. they are working on any bug fix, they will create some branch with that bug name, serial okay. code or something like that, if you remember, and they work in that branch. Once they fix it, they make that bug in fixed branch into it master. So it won't mess up with that original master report. Okay, so I should use git branch, is that right? Yeah, you can use the command git branch and branch name, any. So that will create a branch. <coughs> okay. Git branch space, git space. Sorry, man. Branch. Can be yeah. just get a little slider. Um, branch. And give any, so give it a developer or something, working or developer. If I call it GitHub pages, or should I give it some? Uh, I think GitHub pages is used for that. Uh, GitHub pages are uh, deployment service. Yeah, you can make anything. Dev, DEV, something like that. Okay, really? yeah. okay that's good. Maybe. Okay. Now you can check the branches using Git branch, all the available branch, all the branch. You can list the branch names using Git branch. That's okay. It. So here you have two branches, and the active one is master. Okay. So now I need to check it out. Is that right? To check shift it. into uh, to, uh, you use checkout to shift into data. Yeah. Yeah. This is where the cheat sheets come in handy, guys. I'm just sitting here looking at the cheat sheet, and I'm. Figuring out what I need to do, uh, but uh, yeah. Okay. okay, so now I do get. Oh, I need to let that uh, go. So now you are on. So I can do get branch, and it should be green yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's neat. So it won't. It won't touch the master branch code. All the changes you make here will be reflecting that review branch only. Okay. Awesome. If you check, if you check out into master, even your live page will show that master copy only. It won't touch that review. It won't pull changes from that review page. I just said a git log, just to see. Yeah, that's the git log. It shows the shows the last previous commits. Okay, so this is just showing. Yeah, because I that was the one that I did. <coughs> I did that yesterday. And then, oh no, no, this is the one that I did earlier today. Okay, so yeah. it's most recent to earliest. So these are all the comments you made on that. Okay, neat. And so the head is from the master. <coughs> cool. I think you can scroll down with that arrow keys too. Ah, so it goes even further. Okay, wow. It's like uh, everything. Because yeah. all of Mesfins. Okay, that's cool. Wow. How, how, can, how can I go to the end really quickly? I just click the control Z, I think. Uh, oh, wow. Hmm. So is it like <clears throat> these numbers also is useful later, like if you want to go back? <laughs> Yeah, those to... are the uh, I, that is the ID, ID. commit, and you can uh, that is something like ID or something unique ID. You can yeah. play with those, but to rebase or some you can yeah uncommit some for advanced uh, operations. Those will be handy, and you learn in whenever you face such a yeah problem in future. Okay. And if I will open that git cheat sheet, so I will show some other commands to you guys. Yeah, so 
so I can check whether uh, I just opened up what, a what commits are on my branch that are on his branch. But I can only do that within my repo. Right. I can't. I, I couldn't check against Misfins, could I? Like his master. His I can master. only check against my master because that's all yeah. I had listed. Yes. Okay, so if I said get log. You were once only. You want to see only your commit. Okay. <coughs> View. Dot dot master. Would I need to do a an asterisk? Or it would allow me to do this. Is there any command like that? I haven't tried that one. I'm just looking at the cheat sheet and I'm just giving okay. it to the world. Go ahead. Uh, I'll just I'll open the cheat sheet and meanwhile you can go ahead and see that part. It just says get log the branch B dot dot branch A, show the commits. I mean, I, I don't know if there's ones that you use on a regular basis that are handy, then okay. by all means, uh, show me those, but I'm just looking at the cheat sheet and just going down it and looking to see what uh, you can find one, one more command, git remote or something. Okay. Wh which, which page, which side of the page is that one on? It's on share and update. Okay. We'll open that. I'll let, I'll uh, okay. So it's get it's a get a or add a get URL as an alias for get remote uh, add. Don't don't add anything now. Just check that remote VR is there now. Get remote hyphen V. Okay. I'll wait, wait, wait. On. Where was that one? there. <laughs> get remote. Okay, I'll try that. Get remote. Origin. No, no, a bit. Do I need to say that something? One is to add the like the file name. Actually, no, no. That remote origin is to add the remote repo to your local repo. But you have cloned it from that repo, <coughs> so it already has that remote configured. I think I'm opening my system is hanging a bit. Yeah, I just see the git uh, remote uh, add. No, uh, just git remote. Uh -huh. uh, it's using that remote. After that, space. Okay. Hyphen B. Git remote. Remote. Space. Uh, the dash hyphen. Yeah. Dash yeah, B. V. Uh, for the, yeah. Does that uh, give me the yeah. version Enter. or? Enter. Yeah. No, no. It shows that link of the uh, remote repo. Okay, so this is fetch and push. Ah, you are fetching and pushing from those from that address. I see. Pushing to pushing the changes to that, and uh, that is it. Okay, that's helpful. It is that lets me know I'm pushing it to my repo and not uh, Nesfit. Yeah. Interesting. And it's possible to be fetching and pushing to different locations. Yeah, yeah. If you work on the team, we will configure that remote into that original repo. I we see. just add git remote. We use the command git remote add, and we'll add that repo so that we can push and pull to that particular team repo. <coughs> I see. Okay, so you we can, can. We can change. Uh, what would we can change that. What would the okay. alias be? I'm looking on the cheat sheet. It says get under share and update. It says get remote add alias and URL. I'm guessing the URL would be the github.com forward slash techie Elliot, you know, da 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 da. If I wanted to change it to Mesfins, for instance, that would be the URL that I would put in to uh, block into block. Which one? Which command you're the, uh, Get remote add. Yeah, it will. If you do that, the ad, alias is like origin. You get that origin, no? 
when you uh, are uh, okay would it always but, be uh, origin or what what would be the uh, other if, possibilities if, there i think we can use any i think but we has to follow same when we push up pull git push from origin master or something like we should follow the alias every time when we push up pull okay we, when we push we give that uh, git push origin master something like that so uh, if you give a different name as alias <coughs> we has to follow that name every time i see okay okay so word and this uh, rebase and all those things are bit advanced stuff and we don't need to get into those things right now okay so you think don't go into that don't don't uh, try to the first page uh, uh, for stuff. now how the first page is enough for now as i see once we okay. bit, yeah later we can experiment all those things rebasing and all those things that is bit advanced stuff okay oh okay but, but uh, i can we, do a merge from here yeah here you have that uh, merge a remote we, branch into your current branch to bring it up to date and i can push obviously i've i've already done that but i haven't done it using the alias and branch there transmit Get okay. mess, mess the remote branch into your current branch too. For that, we need to set up some upstream. So, <coughs> to set up an up, we can set up upstream. <coughs> if we set up an upstream, we can directly pull the any changes from his repo directly. If his repo advanced than you, any if he added some new stuff to his rep to his portfolio, if you want to. Push, pull that changes into your local repo. Okay. For that, we can add some ups, upstream. There is some option called upstream. In that upstream, we will give the address of his original repo ID so that we can directly pull his changes. But. Okay. For instance, I, um, uh -huh. I sent some. Um, I, I sent him some um, some commits that you saw earlier. Uh, yeah. How would I how would I know whether or not he's added those? And if I'm working mm -hmm. in the most up to date, like say for instance, okay. he was working in something else. Okay. Um, if he puts those changes into his branch into his repo, mm -hmm. it will. Up, it will show you on the here in the top here. Yeah. I think you're opening his repo right now, right? In my log, it would have shown. Uh, uh, no, no. Just go back to your GitHub uh, clone for copy. The port for copy. Yeah, this is his copy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is his copy. But if I go to my copy, um, <coughs> is this useful for anybody yeah. else? What we're yeah. going over, like saying, here you can see that right. this branch is three commits ahead, one commit we can miss. <clears throat> ah, I see. If you make any changes, okay, if you ahead of your branch, you can pull those changes. Okay, so, so you added three commits in advance to his branch. Is that a problem? No, 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 it means. No, I didn't accept his uh, change yet. I think that, that that's what he means. Uh, so yeah. so, okay, you so haven't the, made a, you haven't yeah. made any PR to that work. You made some work on you made some commits, but you haven't submitted that PR. So it's showing that your branch is three commits ahead. I see. Okay. But once it would you be open the PR for uh, one of one of his commits are not included in my work, is that right? He's committed once, and I don't have that in mind. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're we're off by a little bit. Is that right? Like, yeah. The corrections that I've he made in certain sections, he doesn't have those incorporated into his master, and he's committed once. 
Yeah. And that's not incorporated in mine. Is that how I read that? Yes, yes, yes. That is exactly. Okay. But I can run a comparison. Yeah. Should I run? Should I look at this? Ah, yeah. Check it. No problem. A comparison. Yeah. But this will let me know what what uh what changes he made. Okay, so those are my corrections, but then. Okay, it's showing that. How would I view the changes that he made? I guess I'm not for able. That I think, yeah, for that we need to pull those changes from his report. Okay. So I need to go back. Um, I guess I just come back to this main. Oh no, no, no. This is this is his. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. So from here. Or no no. So from the master I should make a pull request? Or uh, making a pull request here. We just pull from mine, correct? Not from the original. Am I understanding that correctly? Yep. If you made a pull request, it will push your changes into his repo only. Here, if you see in the below, <coughs> the below line, character typos in project section, click on that. Uh, that was from his him, I think. Okay, um, that is your repo. No, no, this deep south is your one. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think there will be some. It will show something to pull his repo changes. I think somewhere. This would this would be from my repo, not from his. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It pulls your changes into his repo. Okay. Uh, just go back and check what changes he made in his repo. <laughs> Should I? It's not showing my branch that I just created. Should I? Should I push uh, that? You haven't pushed that branch. You haven't pushed that branch branch to here. Okay. Right. Should I, should I go ahead and do that just so that I have it uh, in there? Yeah. Or else you can create the branch directly here itself. You can. Okay. You can push. I I can just do it here. Uh, um, yeah. It, that might be easier since I've already created it. I just need to do, uh, get add. Yeah. Or no, is it, all, our, all files are committed. Is it, is it clean? Or is there any commits to uncommitted um, changes? Just check the git status. Uh, there may not be any changes. Let me see. Yeah, it's a clean tree. Yeah. yeah. So Let me now just you can fix something real quick. Uh, bear with me. You can also push that branch directly without any, I think, git push. Origin and your branch name. Okay, I'm just gonna add a hyphen here. Okay, now. <clears throat> All right. I'll so commit now that one. Get status. Yeah, it's got the one thing. Okay. All right. Get add index. Okay. Get commit. Uh, <clears throat> uh, testing new branch. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Okay, that's good, man. Yes. I get um, push push origin. Oh, I need to say no, origin. On that alias and the branch name. Git push origin the, and the, the current branch Elliot review has no upstream branch. The push to push the current branch and set the remote. Okay, I was just saying. Okay, so help me understand the set upstream. Yeah, try that. So that's setting a since it's any upstream. 
Okay. Once I try with good push origin alia tree though, if don't work, we will add that set upstream. So I can just say origin or should I do yeah. upstream? Origin, origin, and the branch name, yeah. Okay. Okay. And now you can check that on your GitHub. No, no, just go back to your GitHub page and here everything is clear. Okay. Yeah, everything's clear here. Okay. Uh, is that branch up reflected there? Or not? Yes. Okay, let me refresh. Yeah, it's showing it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So we can compare and make the pull request from that branch from us. instead of making that from the master. Okay. You can make pull request from the Elliot branch so that it won't mess up with your master branch. In the master, you can keep his code. And your changes will be reflected in other branches. Okay. Yeah, I see how that's helpful. You always have something that is um, untouched. If uh, something goes wrong. Yeah. Or um, you can put something went wrong. You can pull the changes from master, and you can make some other branch and work on it. Yeah. Or this just gives you license to like. Uh, experiment anything yeah right? yeah try, try new and things and you're not going to break anything that can't be yeah, yeah. <coughs> unbroken yeah, or, you're not breaking something. Yeah. yeah you're not you're not Money permanently to... breaking something that's live yeah. Yeah. you're working yeah. on something that's off live uh, does that help uh anybody else anybody have any questions along the way Anyone want to try that? What I just did? Uh, Sam, would you like to try what I was doing? Any of what I was doing? Um, um, Elliot, uh, what I'm going to do is um, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, you know the GitHub basic tutorial. I need to understand it. And I'm going to install it on my computer first. After that, I'll okay. Okay. repository. Yeah, I'm going to try that. And if I face any issues doing that, I will either contact you or I will contact Sritam. Or else you can share your screen and show us what you are trying and we let's yeah. we guide you. <clears throat> the, seriously, the best, the most learning I've had with Git and GitHub is just pair programming with people and sharing screens, honestly. Like, um, I I've will guide you through creating the repo and all those things. <laughs> yeah, like I've just done tutorials on tutorials, but the most learning takes place when you're live with somebody on a shared screen and they're just walking you through it. So um, I'd strongly invite you to just give it a try. Like we're not gonna like, you know, bark at you if you get something wrong. It's actually encouraged, like attempt this, see if you can do it. We'll walk you through it. And then uh, on another, attempt we'll just let you run you know run it as if we're not there and then if you get lost we'll be here to help you does that sound like a um something that you could give a try today yes yeah yeah i will do it okay okay well i'm gonna stop sharing have you, have you tried that any git before with git comments um no no do you have github account yes i do have GitHub account. okay i i, I worked on it but th okay. that is long back so i, I really forgot okay uh, is git installed on your machine now no no no. i'm installing it okay yeah if you pull up the zoom window um go ahead and share your screen so that way we can track along with you and as you have questions, we can uh, address them. 
But uh, that was really helpful, Srikant, about uh, yeah. One more thing, Elliot. I think some, somewhere in the up in your directory, somewhere you have some Git repo, so it's tracking your folders from that root folder somewhere. Okay, do you want me to share my screen again? I, yeah, I think we need to and, fix uh, that. So we just fix that. Remember one thing that just initialize repo inside project folders only, <laughs> don't inside desktop or some root folders. We initialize the repo in project folder only. No, just come back to your VS Code once. Okay. It's showing something like 5K, right? Here. On your left side window. This? In, uh, yeah. uh, 5K means it's tracking 5,000 files from somewhere. Those are actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, uh, that's these. <laughs> uh, desktop. You have yeah. a repo on desktop. So that's yeah. why it's tracking the entire desktop. So for yeah. that first, we should delete that uh, git folder from the desktop. To, so it will be clean. Is there any way to... Can I unstage? Yeah. You have added them to stage? Yeah. I, I think these are... I don't even remember what these are. So they're not relevant. Yeah. I'm just going to unstage. I think there's a git on your desktop. Once CD to your desktop. From here? Or for, yeah. Can I, does either one matter? Yeah, no problem. You can do it from anywhere. Okay. CD. Is there a quicker way to get there than what I'm doing? I think it will take one step back. Now you are in. Okay. Now you are on desktop, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Now check the git status on here. If it shows any real file here. Five. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You saw tracking. all this red, you were like, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's tracking entire desktop files. So <laughs> it should remove that git from here. Okay, so I can do that now. Or I need to no, no. I, they, you get it. Hello. So from here, uh, how should I remove that? One minute. I'm have, getting a phone call. One minute. Okay, no problem. Sorry. Aranjit. Ekarke. Kanish, I'm in online class. Long. Ah, sir. My phone just keep push for Hello. Chapu. Basically, when you initialize a Git repo in any folder, it will create some folder with name dot Git. Name. No, no. If it have you tried that Git in it ever before? Uh, maybe, but I, I don't really understand what I did. I think oh, now that I'm okay. looking back. If you check that on cheat sheet in the very first page. <laughs> right. Okay. Set up and init, right? In the set up and initialize unit. an existing directory as a get yeah. repo. Okay. Oh, if you have any directory, if you mm -hmm. want to initialize some repo in there, we use that git init. So it initializes a repository there. I see. Okay. It's initializing. Okay. 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 I will, okay. I will show that live. live yeah. Once. This is basically just creating the repo yeah. from the very beginning. Just on the desktop or something. We just, I think, okay, first we will clear this. When we initialize that git, in, when we give that git init command, it creates okay. a folder. In my, in my desktop, get, get init. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> uh, okay, no problem. What I'm explaining is, uh, you've done that one now. It says reinitialized re existing git repo. Means, okay. Means there is already a repo is there. So what it do is it create a folder with the name dot git. There is a folder called dot with the uh, name dot git. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So all these git files and all this history will be saved in that folder. 
so it track from that folder if you delete that folder dot get the repo will be deleted so it won't track okay basically it is it is a hidden file but i don't know how to view hidden files on mac it hides this it hides automatically because it has the dot git okay can i use the git re reset or no that's only for the no, file no 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 we need to remove the directory the dot git directory from desktop we have to remove that dot git directory from desktop but it is by default hidden so i don't know how to reveal that hidden directory on mac mm -hmm. on linux and if you press the control h it will reveal the hidden folders just open the desktop on your i think <coughs> from your file, file explorer yeah. okay uh, here this is your desktop right yeah it's kind of uh, strange here, the, just like this developer free ebooks there will be some folder with dot git but default it will be hidden uh, set for dot git It's not here. Okay. Dot get attributes. I will check how I can. Dot get. I will check that on Google. It might be that I just have to figure this out later. Uh, I will just search on Google and will share that once I found. Yeah, it's not. You cannot. It's not. Actually, the same thing happened to that uh, Alia or something. I haven't remember her name. I met her in that uh, ten days JavaScript group. L. Ariel, Ariel, <coughs> her name. Yeah, I should check her name of this guy. Oh, really? It happened to her? Yeah, Ariel B is there. Uh, same thing happened to her. And we tried to, we figured out we can uh, remove that, uh, all those things from the desktop and uh, in the last, last time. Okay. I shared that some git, no, no not git, here is come. come yeah, I don't, I don't see that on the cheat sheet. Um, they, oh no, that's not on cheat sheet. No, it's not. Hmm. I will. Yeah, I don't see that. It it would probably be under the um some kind of reset. Just, we just remove directory. We just use the command remove directory with some flags. Is that what you're reading? Remove di directory. Yeah, uh, there is a command called rm. Oh, I know what you're saying. Okay, just in dealing with directories. But if I remove my desktop, isn't that no, not, not desktop. Remove that dot git. Uh, there is a directory called dot git. Just remove the dot git. Right, remove the dot git. Directory. Rm dot git. Enter. Yeah. So I should give that a go. Uh, 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 just give it. Let's see what it should. Okay. He said it is a directory. Now we need to remove those directory. I think it is not an empty directory, so we need to add some flags to that RM. RM will be remove the empty directories only. I think to remove the directory with some content, we need to add some flags. RM dash something, there are something there. I will search. I'm searching for those. Some flats. Flats. Flag. The flags. iPhone after RM flag. After RM, there will be some R okay. iPhone. Hyphen. There will be something comments in there. I'll share that one with like like this. There's a hyphen. After RM? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, and then. With the space or? 
rm space hyphen yeah there we need to supply some flags so there is some f or something i'm searching for that part. <clears throat> okay RFM Yeah, I'm installing the bridge hub. <coughs> okay. Uh, Is Mesfen back? Yeah, just RS it's set for uh, if you have this flag somewhere in RF or something in this Wikipedia somewhere. In the Wikipedia yeah. one? Is that the one you're looking at? Yeah, no, no. Uh, here you see that RF, iPhone RF. Uh, I think it will go somewhere in the detail. In that preview, it has some. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Here in the syntax. Force which At ignores least. non existent files and overrides any confirmation oh. prompts. Ah, so it will not remove files this. from a directory if the directory is right protected. You can try this remove rm iphone rf. Okay. The, uh, Let's hop back in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Rm hyphen f. And do I need R to give the R file? Rf. There is add alpha r before if. Rf. <coughs> what was that one doing? Is this, uh, below one. Yeah. So it's uh, just combining recursive and. F and force. Oh, yeah. Remove directories removing the contents recursively beforehand. Recursive. Help me understand what a recursive is again. I think um, recursive is like um, so if there, if there are subdirectories under that directory, it will delete all of them. I see. Okay. Yeah. So it's saying not just the parent folder. Right, right. Also the, the child folders. Yep. Okay. It it should apply down the, the chain. Correct. Yeah. Okay. That's that's what recursive means. So if a change is made in a parent folder, then it would also those changes would also be applied to children. That's basically what recursive means. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I can press enter, or I need to put in the no, 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 no. Git. Do the directory name dot git. We are targeting the dot git directory only here. Space dot R M space dot git. Yeah. Now enter. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now. Um. Now check the git status, if it is. Yeah, yeah, now it's clear. Just uh, reload that grid, I think. No. Uh, so, I don't know how to reload that. Command R. Yes, but there, no, no, there is some command, I think. I'm sure that. Yeah, I don't know that. I don't know. Then refresh. <clears throat> just close that for the refreshing. Just close it and reopen. Then that. There is some command shortcut is also there, but yes. <clears throat> no, just close the VS Code and reopen it. It's simply. Is there any uh, save if there is any unsaved? Is there anything? Let's save in the workspace. Okay. I don't know that I necessarily want to save the workspace. Okay. To reload, I think Control Shift T. Once. 
Control shift to be one sendiri will come. Control. I have a Mac. Uh, do you have a Microsoft? Okay. There is no control on Mac. Well, there's control, but there's uh, usually use the command uh, command button. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me just look this up. Uh, VS Code. Uh, Reload window. Refresh. Reload window. Reload window. Reload window. Mm, yeah. <coughs> yeah, you can check that one out. The top one. Restart VS Code. Okay, it's give me, it can give me a list of command KS. Okay. Yeah. Command KS. Okay. Yeah. Command R or something to reload. <coughs> reload. Yeah. Window. Yeah. I guess there's not, there's not anything. It's not a command. I think it will open the some settings tab. Get that refresh. No, it is opening some box, I think. Box or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Once give command shift to P, just close that one. Click somewhere else outside, I think. <clears throat> mm, come on, go away. It's opening the search bar only, it's not the search bar. I think it should open. Okay. Control shift Okay. Control shift B. I need to hold them down simultaneously or it can be different? It can be separate. Simultaneously, at the same time, I think. Control. For Linux, we have command Control shift P to open the settings tab. Yeah, here, reload window type. Reload. Type reload, you will get some comment. Yeah, you get uh, click that one. Okay. So reload it. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, now. There are no changes, I think. <coughs> okay. There's no, no files, changed files. <coughs> okay. Now you can, it's clean up. So now everything's clean. Okay. The 5,000 are gone. Yeah. Okay. Don't pull changes from the desktop. Okay. And then I'm just working from Git branch. Okay. So I'm working from my Elliot review and I'm up to date. Yeah, now we can check that status. <clears throat> yeah. But it, it will be up to date in this one, but if I get CD dot dot CD CD dot dot get status. Okay. Thanks, man. Uh, that really helped. So what's going on, guys, here? Oh, um, you know how... You, the other day, <coughs> I had done git status and I had 5,000 red lines here. Uh, Srikanth and I, we walked through how to clear that out. Oh, okay. Using, um, we use these remove commands. <coughs> we used um, git rm and then rf. And then what that did is for the main directory and all the subdirectories, we forced an ignore for non-existent files like a dot git. <coughs> and um, that allowed us to remove it from uh, from from uh, the staging. <coughs> so yeah. it was gone. Maybe, maybe I'm using the jargon, but you have, a, 
Yeah. What yeah. was that? The problem was you have a you have initialized a repo on your desktop. That's why it <coughs> That's right. keep tracking all your desktop. So we just removed that directly from your desktop. Yes. Yeah, so these are kind of things that we always face, you know, while we're doing the real the real task. Yeah. The Git is every is new to everyone, so you don't know how to exactly where to initialize and how to use it. So in the beginning stage, it will happen. Yeah. You just initialize the repo within that private folder only. If you initialize somewhere in the top directory, it will keep track all those files from that top. And one more thing, you have staged with them, but you haven't committed. If you commit those things, it will move all that files into your GitHub. Yeah, and you don't want that. That's yeah that's helpful man i appreciate it yeah well about this but would uh would sam or mesfin would sam have you gotten yours uh set up yet yeah. Um, yes, um, I, have, I have downloaded it. I'm <coughs> it. Uh, yeah, share your screen and um, we can walk you through setting up the in the setup. Can try that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're like, gonna go to the cheat sheet and look at the setup. Just share this thing. We'll explain how to start the repo and everything. And it, yeah. you, once you make one commit to your GitHub, it will be clear to you. Yeah, just a second. Yeah. So I have almost installed it. I'm sharing my screen right now. Just a second. Yeah. Okay. And one more thing is, are you using Pretier, guys, on ES, VS Code? Pretier extension on VS Code? Anyone is using? Pretty, uh, what was that? VS Code extension, Pretier. It automatically okay. form, formats the code, JavaScript code. Uh, what, what was the name of that one? Prettier, P R R E T I R. Prettier. Prettier. Okay. Prettier code. Yeah. I think uh, I, I may have installed that at work, but uh, it's just prettier code. Then uh, there's an extension for VS Code. Prettier code think, formatter. Yeah. Yeah. Code formatter. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to install that. Can you see the screen now, okay. guys? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I have installed it, and um, so yeah, yeah. Once give the command git dash v, we have git. something git yeah. okay. hyphen hyphen version. Yeah. So it's returning a version number means it is. Now even if you save your work in which directory you save in the C directory itself or somewhere. Sorry? Where you save your project files or work in the C directory or somewhere in the uh, other I, yeah, I need to see that actually. Okay. Better don't save it on the C if you if your OS crashes, it will you lose all those files. Better go to some other local list. I think you are saving it on desktop only. Okay, no problem. For now, just create some testing or some new director on desktop. Uh, you want me to create a new directory on the desktop? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be a lot shorter to drill down into. Okay. And you're just testing it out. It's not a. Uh... 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. CD desktop. Yeah. So CD stands for change directory. Yeah, change directory. Yeah. That's just I think moving you, uh, around within the folders and the directories. Yes. Yeah. No, now you are in Git test. Okay. Now git init. Once wait, once git status, give the command git status. <coughs> here you can see the message. It's not a git repository. To make a repository here, we use the command git init. Okay. Does he not need to configure his setup yet? Not yet. Okay. It's just okay. We installed an empty repository here. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is a repository. Right. Hello. I'm going to call on them. Video call on my crap. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Phone your phone. Open your GitHub and create some. Just uh, open it from a repo there. Do you have any my, repo there? Yeah, I do have. Yeah, I, just open <coughs> any. Uh, yeah. Those are locked, I think. The private repos are. I'm not sure. Sorry. That's what oh, I told okay. like I forgot. Come back okay. to your main screen. Uh, 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 just uh, click on that clone or download green icon. The green button is there, na? Right. There, there, there is a, some drop arrow. Down arrow is there. At the end, yeah. Copy right. that part. Yeah. 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 There's a little clipboard. Yeah. Okay. Now come back to your terminal. Git clone and paste that part. I'm gonna go grab something, I'll be right back. Okay. Now, now check the git status here, you can see that Okay, what happened is we cloned it into the testing. So it created a folder with your repo name. Right. So I think just delete that folder. I will show that. Go to your explorer and delete that one. So I'm not that delete that folder. That folder, okay. Yeah. No, no, not one. Just open. No, no, cancel. Yeah, cancel. Open the folder. There is uh, that. This one. That one. Yeah. Okay. If you don't, uh, just come back to terminal. Now, in the previous command, just add dot after that git. You can use the arrow keys to get the, the next one, git clone. No, 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 git clone. Uh, this space, one? Uh, dot. space dot. That means dot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think delete that uh, empty for, for cloning. We need to have some empty directory. It's saying that delete that dot git also there. There is. This one also. Yeah, open that, open. No, no. Yeah. yeah. If, okay. If you initialize a repo, it will create the folder with the name dot git here. Okay. 
student Hey Nick, are you there? I am. Yeah, okay. you can see this. He initialized a repo in his folder right. and it created a, a directory with dot git here. Yeah. And there is a hidden yeah. file. Yeah. So and when we're trying to clone that remote repo here, it's showing that it's not an empty directory. So just delete that dot git. If you delete it, the git will be removed from that folder. This one, do you want me to delete yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Ah, now come back to terminal. Yeah. Yeah, just use the previous command. And alien, if you don't mention the dot at the end, it will create a new folder within that. If you give the dot, it will use that folder only. Okay. Yeah, now you can. So the dot, get, the dot only creates. We are saying that install the, uh, clone the files into existing folder. If you don't give the dot, it will create a new folder with your GitHub repo name. It really? happened yesterday. To you. That when you created a portfolio, it created some portfolio one folder inside. Okay. Uh, if you mention dot, I see. I see. Okay. If you if you mention dot, it just go um, into your folder only. Guys, I, I, see. I, 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 I have a call coming, so I need to pick this up. Okay. Continue. Yeah, just one moment. That's fine. If you mention the dot, it just clones the files into that folder only. If you don't, if mention. It will create a new folder with that repo name. I understand. Okay. Yeah. So it's a little more direct. Yeah. Or else we can cd to root and from there we can give that. So it will create a folder from with that directory, that repo name and put all those files into that. If we give that command on desktop, it will create a folder with that portfolio one on desktop and okay. clone those files into desktop. If you already okay. have the folder, we can give the dot to clone it into directly. Okay. Does that make sense for you, Mesfin? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I didn't see the last one, but I know like I know how to clone to my local directory, but I haven't seen that the dot thing. Yeah, I think the dot, it just, uh, it, remo it removes the creation of a, another folder and it just used yes. the one that you, um, that, uh, your working di directory. It, I don't think instead that. Yeah. Rather, you rather, directory. Than, rather than making another directory, it uh, yeah. just uses the working directory. Yes, that's it. Okay. Otherwise, it will create another directory with that port repo name. Repository. Yeah, it'll uh, initiate a another instance of the folder. Yes. I guess Sam is on his call still. Uh, I think he's on phone. <clears throat> yeah. We'll wait a moment. And have you tried this merge, Elliot? Merge command? <coughs> Very rarely. You have two <coughs> times, no? so right now, you have master and Elliot, right? Yes. Uh, now, you want, if you want to merge your code from alias to master, right? What we do? We just check out into master. Okay. First, check out into master. Git check out master. Then, git merge alias. So it will merge alias branch into master. Okay. Let me pull that up. I'm. Uh over my so that, extensions yeah. okay let's okay. Oh, master. 
మళ్ళా ఓకేస్ I am using Notepad++ uh, Okay, just uh, uh, Atom is also there Okay Open with any editor you have Better use VS Code Notepad++ is very, very old like this It's simple but VS Code offers many features, advanced features I already have it Yeah, okay yeah. you can have the integrated terminal also in the vs not actually just open that folder we created before in the desktop yes with vs so yes i can see that file ah. hello dot c that okay yeah. okay now create a index.html or some any file there okay text document and save it as at the index start html i think we need to give that <coughs> no 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 it will create the text document only. rename rename click on rename i think place the quotes around that name index dot html Uh, sorry that is not a html file that it created as a text document right okay yes it's create that txt looks like yeah let's open it yeah now click on file save as text editor save as okay here place the quotes around that name before i and f after the l double quotes place that name in the double quotes yeah like this add the code before yeah okay now save it i'm sorry can i save it okay that's okay yeah now it creates a uh, html you can delete those and uh, that text doc now okay now add some content to that index or else you can push that empty file now come back to your terminal yeah now check the status here sorry yeah if you observe there there are two that txt new files now add those changes to push <coughs> git add use the command git add and if you want to push files individually we can give that name file names if you want to push all files we can use a dot there just for your use a dot to push two files if you just want to push one file you can give that file name there so if if i give dot it will push all the files that is present yeah. in that particular folder right uh, yeah correct okay. correct otherwise you can mention that file name separately uh, now let, let me, let that, me no no yes ha huh? yeah tell me okay okay do anything you want okay so let yeah. me you can just do the index at html yeah. yeah that's clear now commit git commit and after the commit it has to give some message to it so hyphen m space then in the quotes 
write some initial comment message like oh, yeah. first, any some uh, message write some first, comment message first commit first commit uh, first write commit. as first comment that uh, no file name uh, no 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 file name okay so i already added that files to commit okay you, you can enter so you can just commit here enter here okay yeah no. you have committed those files so now you can push those files to your github okay um, can, one can file change to just do one thing okay um i yeah. just told that we have to add the file first that i understood but like yeah. um, what is this commit thing all about like what we are doing with commit? committing adding means is to take a snapshot there okay. and commit means it saves that snapshot for yeah. some look, look at your time. look at your cheat sheet you know have a little something underneath okay so that so that um, in future if i if something goes wrong and i want to go back uh, then i can you know uh, come back to to, uh, to this right yeah uh, you can come back to the previous commits you previous can ignore commits. this commits yeah yeah right. it says add a file as it looks now to your next commit stage so adding adding just its stages it okay it just, it's just like just, a, taking a snapshot there so yeah. it just The, the, current, the current version of that document's going to uh -huh. be uh yes. like yeah. prepared to be used coming yeah. so then, committing it is saving the snapshot right yeah okay okay yeah now you can push those changes into your github using git push and here we need to give the alias the default one is origin push origin uh JIT push origin O R I G I N. Okay, origin. Origin space master. We has to mention the branch into which branch. So it will push the code into master branch on your GitHub. Right. Enter. <coughs> Does he not need the? To... Getting some error. Does not need to name the document, or no? He doesn't have to, does he? They need to push some rest. Push. No. What's your branch name there? Is there a branch master? Yeah. Check. Check git branch from your terminal. Yeah, he's got some different branches. He's on a different branch. Yeah. Now just git branch. <clears throat> It must be in the git commit so i don't know oh it just took a while to get back <clears throat> yeah it's not showing his master there huh okay try with some any testing you can name any branch name it will create that branch on there just git push origin some test testing I think you need to create a branch I think, for that on your local. Uh, okay. Okay. Use that branch. You have that CSV three thousand and write something. Yeah. <coughs> Or you could just say get branch and then just name it, right? Yeah. Cop in place of this, use that uh, your branch name in the green color. <coughs> git push okay the copy that path branch name there in the green color and
I think for copying, we have to write use a mouse. Otherwise, we have to control it. And give it a moment. There it goes. Yeah. Now you can check those changes on your GitHub. Go to your GitHub web page. Refresh. Yes. Yeah. There's now we can index. Yes. Right first right. commit. Five right. minutes to go. There you go. This is, that's how we use Git to. <coughs> okay, uh, now, now make me understand about uh, the, the, the branch thing. Like, what, the difference between a master and the branch. I have cloned that uh, repo from this branch only. If you select the branch master here, and if you clone it, you clone that master branch into your local branch. If you check that branch names if in your GitHub page. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, if you want to create some branch here, you can create there. Git branch and branch name in the store itself. Okay. In the terminal, go back to terminal and try that branch. Git yeah. branch master. Any name you can give any name there. Now give the command git branch, it will list all the branch names. Yeah. We have two branches, and the active one is in green green. You want to change into that master, you can use checkout command. Git checkout. Git checkout. CH CK check out. You can refer to the yeah. look at the uh, cheat sheet. Check, check. check out. O U T. Yeah. Master. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now you can check the git branch. You can see that master. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This cheat sheet's really handy to have printed yeah. out. It really is. Just just read the cheat sheet. Or else I will share some YouTube videos, watch some videos. In That's okay, Miss Finn. We'll see you. Uh... Okay, this was helpful. Thank you. Uh, okay, from uh, just started, you can explore some now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give it a try without. Uh... We'll, we'll be here to help you, but uh, give it a try. Just. Uh... Uh, like yeah, sure, just, sure. just create a new document like uh, and uh, and try to commit it again yeah. with uh, commit we'll, to we'll, some but yeah. we'll be here uh, like we'll let you give it already a, help uh, you yeah to try to try to repeat uh, so, it uh, and we'll we'll just be here you already have an untracked file index HTML text document you haven't pushed that one so you can try that at least once check the git status in your master branch yeah if you see there there is a file dot txt that's a document text document we haven't committed that one you can try that one now. Or else you can give the dot only, even for one file. In space of file name. Okay. 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 Oh, that's good. Okay. If you read that they say yeah, okay. So I've successfully committed. Now push it. Push to your guitar. Correct. And if You have to do git init. 
No, 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 no. You missed that alias origin. Okay. After that, the name master, right? Yeah. What it's showing is in your master manage there is something that you doesn't have in your local machine in your remote repo. Okay, okay fine. So then for that we have to check out. Let me um, switch to the, the other one. Ah, ah. Or else you can. The what he is telling here is your remote master has something that it doesn't have in your local machine. For that you can use the git pull. You can pull. That changes from master remote. Okay. Okay. Go back and check it, right? No, it haven't successfully. There is some. Uh, uh, I have committed, I have pushed it. To refresh. No, you, you can, if you, you can see that message, if it is successful, it will show that. Uh, <coughs> show that for all invalid reference specification. No, after that I, I, I after that yeah. I executed it um without a slash. No, oh, just give the status here, bit status. Ah, I see. Is that uh, we haven't committed that one, but it's not showing that one. See here, I uh, once executed this oh. command. It's showing everything okay. Yeah. In the above command, if you see, there is some invalid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. Again. So after that, uh, yeah. so this because uh, everything uh, is updated. Yeah. yeah. Go back to now. Go back to your folder. If you observe it, there is no. Yeah, there's no. What no happened to that? Uh, there is that HTML text document. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it moved it to that master branch. Uh, okay. 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 If we switch, up, just switch back to the master in the terminal once. No, no, in the terminal. Okay, let me do that. It? It, so it moved. Now, now go to your folder. Just go back to a folder on the direct desktop. What? <laughs> that is so. <laughs> what? Means this index that is still moved onto master and that branch is okay. not reflecting this. Day. I would I would create a new doc. <laughs> Uh, you can, if you if you create have you, new have document, you seen, yeah. have you ever seen that tree comp? Yeah, it happens. If you oh, create something uh, in your some branch, and if you switch back to another branch, it won't reflect those files from this branch. Oh man! So so so, so how to co copy to the to the other directory? <coughs> yeah. you just merge it. It has to merge it. Oh, okay. So what, what is the command? Uh, no, 
for now you can create something in the you are on master right add something to that index.html just open that index and add some code to it you will push that code no? okay fine yeah. basically if we are on master and we have created some files and if we switch back to another branch those files will not be reflected on that new branch another branch unless we merge this <coughs> Just add some basic layout, something. Anything, just add one line up. Okay. Dark type, add a dark type or some HTML tag. Root tag, HTML. HTML. Like this? No. You know how to add the dark type? There is a dark type. Or ignore the tag, just add the root tag HTML. It's HTML, that's it, right? You have that E, you know? HTML. Yeah. Is it E or H on the first letter? H, H, H. Okay, it's not here to me. Okay, no problem. Uh, just close the tag and save the one. You know, writing that basic HTML? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just close that HTML root tag. Inside within tag. Yeah. 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 No problem. Just save that document and check it in on the status. Yeah. You have modified index.html. So now I can directly push it, right? No, no. It has to add, copy it, and push. Add, commit, push. You have some changes. You made some changes. You must commit before pushing. Okay, because it's already added. <clears throat> no, no. Add. You have to add. The red color means you have. Okay. Uncommit. Yeah, it shows that it has to add. Once you add that, it will turn into green. Okay, so after every uh, every time we, we we change something, we edit the document. Yeah. We have to add it, right? Okay. Yeah, we has to commit and add. Yeah, there's basically so we committed. There's three steps after completing the sub. Uh, <coughs> there's always add, commit, the message, and. It's like a recording. If you want to go back one step, you can come back there. Yeah, it's broken it down oh. into multiple steps. Oh, no, no, no. It, uh, you missed that M sharp M. So it's opening an editor to give that commit message here. So then, so then clear up. Uh, no, no. Clear out all that uh, comments, all that lines, and write the commit message there and save that. I think it's opening on that one. Terminal. I don't know how to save here. I'm using commands. Yeah, it's like, I'm used to uh, Beam and all that. <laughs> okay. Okay, just close the terminal. Okay, so it's okay. This, was like, uh, the, this is why you got yeah, this terminal. Yeah, I got, yeah, yeah, I got you, it. I got it. I got it. You missed that M shorthand. So it is asking for some commit message here. If you know how to save here, you can proceed. Otherwise, you can. Yeah, I'm 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 writing something. Um, let me write. Give some message here. Commit. Right. And you want to save and here. Save, save and exit, right? Yeah. Okay. Now it happens. If you miss that shot and M, it will open here. Editor to give that commit message, and we can okay. configure that one using. Got it, got it. So it's better, better to give hyphen M and you know, write it. Yeah. Uh, if, you have long, uh, if the message is short, we can use it. But if you may, have some uh, long message, Sorry. we can. So now I can push it. To use, right? Yeah. And we can configure that with default editor also. You, that one is there on Git Sheet Sheet. You can use the VS Code or some anything else for that commit message.
Yeah, print print that out front and back, that cheat sheet, and uh, just have it here until you get really comfortable with uh, Git. Yeah, I, will, I need to practice. Something. Yeah, you are on master, and now push that Git. Push origin master. No, 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 no. Don't mention file name here. Just. <coughs> Yeah, it's rejecting because you have something that it doesn't have on your local machine. So use git pull origin master. So it pulls some files from your remote repo. Okay. First it pull the changes unrelated histories. Because the remote repo and this local one is have different histories, so it is refusing to pull. We can uh, so for that switch to the to the other one, right? Yeah, yeah. You can switch and work on, but from now, whenever you clone something, clone from master branch. <laughs> okay. Then only it won't get any conflict. But if you switch to other branch, you won't see these changes in that branch. Correct. There is nothing I think to push because we haven't made any changes in that branch. We made changes in master branch. Yeah. Yeah, you had a very confusing wrinkle here, Sam. <laughs> if you want those changes from that one to master, actually what happened, he has something in the master that doesn't have in this CS50 branch. So he yeah. made clone from CS50 local. But when we attempt to pull, yeah, he, he did. The master start branch it. has some. I think that was the problem. Yeah, yeah. For that, we can have some force or some commands are there, but those are advanced stuff. But we yeah. are just trying the basics. Yeah. Just clone from the master and create the branches in your local machine. Basically, we clone from different branches. That's why. Yeah, we are that's what I would do from this point. Yeah. It's just. Uh, so create a, a, an entire. You just you understood problem. what some things. At least you understood some adding, committing, and pushing. Yeah, it, right? it was beneficial today. Okay, so now I have to give the source. Uh, no, if you want to clone that, you have to remove I think already have uh, just. What do you need because to already have clone. It is already a repo. If you want to clone, it has to be empty. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, for that, you can just create a new folder and uh, clone from master into that and yeah, try to play with it. Create a new folder and then at the end of it, add that period like we did. Yeah. Arel, right. you can. You want me to create, you are from, create a new folder? <clears throat> or you can yeah. just do it on the desktop, right? Uh, without that, if you do, do it on desktop, it will create the folder name with that repo name. Okay. So that, yeah, okay. So that's useful when you're just creating it on the desktop and you just want to create the folder from the git clone, right? Uh, no CD. Uh, CD test, git test. <clears throat> now, copy the pop from master, master branch. No, no, no. Okay. Just open your GitHub page. Yeah. The, the URL for the, the clone. The repo. The Git repo. repo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, switch back to your master branch here first. In the branch, yeah. 
Okay, so from now you're on Mars. Now copy the path from the clone or download button. You click on that. Ah, yeah, copy. <coughs> Git clone. Give the period or dot R. Yeah. Otherwise, it will create a new folder. Yeah, if you check the branch name, you can git branch. What? Okay. Where you are? Why we are getting that again? CS50. Yeah, I wonder why he's getting that CS50 too. It might be this Reaper. Something up with that Reaper. Yeah, what's your repo name? We, by default, we get the master branch only. Maybe you should try a, a, a new repo. Just entirely new, no branches. Yeah, just create a new repo for practice. I think that's good. Yeah, I, w I would just create, go to your. Uh, I, don't know, I, I think don't. it might be because it's not his. Is that Summit 50? Is that you? So you want. You 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 want to yeah new 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 yeah yeah, yeah. say new no. give some name yeah just say test or whatever I don't know for your learning repos you make it public so the others can see your code if you, yeah. there is some personal stuff then only make it private it's public and then initialize it with the readme yeah wait to put it away yes. Yeah, if you were doing it for real, I would add a license to yeah. <clears throat> It's not a big deal. Now, take the path here. Yeah, do the, do the good clone here. Copy the path. Copy, copy the path. Okay. Oh, the path. Yeah, copy from there. I, yeah, I, 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 you want me to copy uh, this? The clone, path? the clone. No, no, clone. Copy from your green one. I think previously okay. copied from there. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be different. I think. <clears throat> Git. You are, no, no. Come back to CD desktop. Come back to desktop. Yeah. Now give the Git clone. Uh, uh, don't give dot here. Just. Enter. It will create that folder. Now you can see the test folder on your desktop. CD test. CD test. It has to move into that project folder. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now you can see. Now you're in. You created a folder, a directory from the, that spot. Yeah. And now okay. check the branch, git branch. You are on master it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Now I got uh, it. yeah. Okay. And then I think uh, you can do this. You can do touch index. Yeah. I think touch space index dot html. HTML. Yeah. I think touch works for Linux. Oh, and yeah. This is Mac, Windows, but uh, for Windows, I don't know. Sometimes oh, I, think, I don't know. Uh, for Linux, also it works that touch command, but I don't know how. I think for mm. Windows, we have to use cat, cat or something. What what is that? Then let's set that up. Okay. Um. Let me do this thing, guys. Um. Ah. Let me do VAM test. V A. V A is also from Linux, I think. There is yeah, no but no, but in the... Do you remember when 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 we were trying to commit without the message? It 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 let <coughs> file with the with the vim. Okay. Just go back to the folder and create some file like this. Just open that folder with the editor better. We have test folder somewhere in the desktop. Check for see. Yeah. 
want me to create one here? Yeah. Or else you can add some content to the readme error. Open the readme with your text file, text folder. Daddy. Yeah. Change that text to something else. We have some text on our top. Yeah. Okay. First project or something. Change that. Or hello one. Save it. No hyphen. Before that, yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? yeah, okay. yeah. First commit. It's a first commit here. Then the file name, right? No, no, no. There is no file name here. Okay. Now. Are you using mechanical keyboard? No, no, no. I may want laptop. Okay, so yeah, right, right, and I can hit enter here. Are you in master? Give the branch name. Okay, okay, yeah, master. Yeah, you can check that code on me. Hello. Uh, hello world. Okay. Yeah. Hooray. <laughs> yeah. Now <laughs> dancing in the yeah. Create create a new branch. Uh, here? No, no, not here. Just go back to your terminal. Okay. Git branch. And the branch name, right? Yeah, yeah. Testing or something. Use some testing. Or test, develop. test two, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Test, yeah. Fine. Just enter. Mm -hmm. No. Switch into that branch. Git checkout. Branch name. Yeah. Now we're on test. Now go back to our editor and make some changes to that readme. Yeah. Now add something like welcome or anything yeah. after uh, before the hello one. Keep that as so it will keep your same like that. Add the hash before so it will make it as a headache. It is called markdown language. GitHub use that markdown. Yeah. Save the changes. <laughs> uh, and come back and. No, in, Check the status and do all those process. Yeah. You can give the dot there if you feel typing is a bit hard. Even if 
if you know the uh, the name is unique, you can just type R and then tab, and then it'll complete the name. Yeah, yeah, it will complete. That one is also. Awesome. Yeah, that's a a quick way to type long names too. Yes. Maybe type like okay. one or two yeah. letters, and then your uh, yeah. your file is completed. Now, push it into a different branch, origin, and yeah. Use the test two. Test two, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this time it's taking too long. Now you are wait wait here you are on master web right wait. yeah refresh check content of, uh, just check the content of uh, refresh yeah it's a test to yeah. less than two minutes uh -huh. ago yeah okay if you see that master band yeah, yeah now you're, now on you're on. welcome okay boom if you shift back to the master it won't reflect on that master right exactly okay yeah. boom so if you want to if you want to merge those changes into master, come back to the master. Yeah, I want to see this part. Uh, uh, come back to terminal. Yeah. Now, switch to your master branch. Hit check out master. Yeah, now you are on your master branch. Yeah. Now, git merge merg merge. That branch name, yeah, test two. Okay, so you have to be in the master, then merge from uh, merge the other uh, one from uh, from other branch to the here. So now the changes are here. Okay. Uh, now you can push this master to your master branch. Go back to that uh, GitHub page and check it down. <coughs> he can push straight from the merge. Yeah, he can push without adding and committing. Because we are already committed from that branch already. I because see. We are I see. Okay. Committed in that uh, branch. I see. So now here in master, you can see now everything is um, up to date. Everything is uh, synced. Yeah. So if he switch from one branch to the other, they're synced. Yeah. Unless he starts working oh. in the test two again. So now, now the best practice you have master copy working. From that, we just make some working branch and make changes in that branch. If you are happy with the Change it, then we can merge it into master, or else we can directly push that branch to GitHub. And if later we can also merge it into master, we consider master as a production ready something which works, and we can do our work on some other branches. Hmm, it's really helpful. So we don't mess up the working code, so we just create some other branch, we will play with that branch. If it works, then only we merge it back into master. Yeah. And if there is something something issue, we again create some branch from master. We work on that issue, and if it resolves, then we merge the issue branch into master. So, what we do next? We shall we. Um. I think. I think we are only three people, so 
Um, yeah. I think I think that that might be good today. If uh, Sam has some questions. Yeah. No, no. Uh, I'm, if you I'm have fine, it. but I need to do practice. I need to, you know, practice. Okay. <coughs> yeah. I will just yeah. we should, we'll just share some video tutorial or something. Just go through them. Exactly yeah, yeah. what's getting and how we use. Yeah. Then you can tomorrow you can ask if you have any confusion or no or no. Yeah, for now, just go through some video tutorials. Yeah. I will share the uh, there is one video course on free code cam channel, YouTube channel. It's very short and clear explanation. You can try that one. I will yeah. share that link. Okay. It's just like a version controlling. You are controlling the versions of your Right. Code. If something breaks, you can go back to previous version. Correct. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. If you just log, just use the git log, you can see all your commits here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see. And if you want to go back to some other commit, we use this commit ID, which is in this yellow, light yellow. We use that ID, and it's, there are some commands. Using them, we can revert back to some. So, old commits and we can ignore the new changes using these commit IDs. Yeah, I think I think that's probably good for today. Yeah. Okay. We covered a lot and practice yeah. a lot. Um, if I think if everyone will present, they will get benefited. But once they get back, they may feel confusing. Or yeah. It, 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 may, it may just be the four of us going through JavaScript. Um, yeah. I think if uh, others would have shown up by now, they they would be here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, that uh, the JavaScript stuff you can do it on your own, but here you may learn some different things. Yeah, this. The only way that I've learned this is just what we just did. Uh, you just have to give it's it a try a... and attempt yeah. and. and it gets easier every time you do it. Like, and and then it's almost like every time I've done this, I've learned something there. Like yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't, know, I didn't know about uh, merging, and I didn't know, I didn't know how to use branches very well. So this was really helpful for me in that regard. Yeah. So instead of we call pull request, and today we call sub branching, merge, and uh, git initialization. So um, tomorrow we are going we are going to start with uh, JavaScript. Yeah. If I think every day we spend some half an hour or something on Git and then on we'll Git, yes. yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be helpful also. Yeah. Yeah, if I think some... I think we covered a lot of good ground there. I think uh, this wasn't wasted yeah. time. Yeah. No. Yeah. This is the basics. We uh, these are enough to do okay. your work. Yeah. I think from here, <laughs> it's a good idea to start thinking through. Um, some a project that you can start yeah, to implement. Yeah, yeah. simple uh, project and uh, yeah, making Think, everyone things that you can implement your code into. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you want to create, um, start thinking through like what idea can I, uh, what idea of, of a site can I build? It's like a personal site or something like that. That is like your thing. Um, like whether it's your, like Mesfin has his portfolio or you may have like, hey, I want to create this kind of site. It's like my brother's, you know, business. I want to create a website for him or I want to create a business for my dad's webpage or like my cousin's or like my friend's webpage. Like I want to create an about me page. Uh, yes, like, some portfolio or some anything. <laughs> or even look through from the responsive web design if there's a page that you want to make better, you know, with some JavaScript, <clears throat> start from there. And then uh, as we do things in, um, in the course, we'll just add, um, we'll start uh, committing some things to GitHub with, with that code. Uh, so that that way, uh, you know, whatever we're learning, we're just implementing that immediately into something rather than just passively learning through tutorials. 
Yes. So that way we're actively learning and we're putting it immediately into a GitHub repo. And the same way you can show your code to someone when you go to the interview, you can show something at least yeah. how this. Yeah. And, and I think it will be even more useful because they will be able to walk step by step through your journey in JavaScript. They'll yeah. see, okay, this is where Something he learned like, the very beginnings. And then yeah. this is where he started yeah. using ES6. See our progress also, how we yeah. improve it. Yeah. And it, and it may not, and it may not make a whole lot of sense at first, but um, you know, in the long run, it definitely helps in the long run, like each day, mm -hmm. day by day, uh, it will be huge because you'll be able to see like, okay, like, even though when I started a year back, I have no idea what is Git and all those things. Mm -hmm. I, I literally took me uh, 20, 25 days to figure out exactly what is all happening. Mm -hmm. In that time, I have tried only myself. I haven't have any connection with this online or something. I just tried myself and it took some a lot of time to figure out exactly what Git is and how it's yeah. working. Oh man, that must have taken yep. forever by yourself. Yeah. Then after, if you... From there, I would try to pushing my code point. Now I have almost some around 200 and 300 commits on my GitHub right now. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, have like milestones of like, you know, like 30 yeah. days back, 60 days yeah. back, six months back. Yeah. This is where I was, and um, a senior developer told me he's like, if you don't look at your code from 30 days back and think, man. Did I even know how to code back then? Like, you know, yeah. then you're not learning, you know, like yeah. he's like, you need to be able to um, think like, man, like the, the code I wrote 30 and 60 days back was total crap. Yeah. Um, and you're constantly improving. That also helps to track our progress. How we improve, how much. Exactly. Exactly. So, 30 days from now, the goal is to have made like significant progress and we're working in free code camp and implementing uh, things from the tutorials. You're implementing them immediately into some type of page. Yeah, we can apply after completing some challenges. We can try to do some small project using those concepts so that everyone can how to come apply those skills in the real page. When we, and one more point is suppose you are building a portfolio site, mm -hmm. just cre create a repo with your master branch and create some branches for now bar, one branch for the top now bar, one branch for about me, mm -hmm. one branch for project section, one branch for footer, like that. Break your page into some parts and create a branch for each part and when mm -hmm. you are working on navbar shift to the navbar branch and work there if you're done with that merge it into master okay. like that if you are working on the about me section switch into the about me branch work there if you are satisfied with the overall final result then merge that about me into master and push your master mm -hmm. into the github yeah hmm. That's, that's a really good thought. It's really breaking so, down your page into yeah. small Some parts, features. you know, and then yeah, those small, small parts part. are broken down into branches. Yeah, and you will work on that part, and when you've done that, just commit it and merge it into master. Okay, that's what I think we tried that today. Yeah, let's uh, end the meeting, but... Um, I'm really happy. This is uh this is good progress. Um, and I'm glad we recorded it too, so that the others can, um, you know, they haven't missed no. so much. They've just missed the, the get and GitHub part, but if they watch the videos, yeah. then, um, Someone can. they Try can that. definitely learn yeah. a lot if they just watch the videos. Um, but, uh, was this helpful for you today, Sam? You may Thank not you. be there. Yes. Yep, sorry. Um, yes, definitely. It was, it was quite yeah. Helpful. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about what what you learned? Yeah. Um, I really I, I didn't expect 
uh, that it would be um, so smooth. It was really like you know, uh, you you were right. Like you know, um, this is uh, in, if we do it in this way, it would be much faster for us to learn concepts rather than you know trying right. it alone and you know, figuring out how to do it. We can because we learn from someone's experience. So we can right, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, and even just sitting, watching somebody else do it, and then you try it, and then if you watch other people do it, then it's almost like you get those repetitions, and your oh muscle memory gets strengthened by watching somebody else go through yeah. it. Yeah. And, and I'm even like Shrikant and I, like, you know, for me, it's like I'm learning new things because Shrikant's exposing new things, but walking you through it, it helps me learn it because I'm teaching you something. So... In effect, that may be a helpful part of our class is uh, one, when we get to certain aspects, it might be a good idea for us to be, become the teacher. So at certain points, if there's something that you wanna go learn and teach us, then go for it. Uh, because I think that in essence, like it empowers you, you know, because if you're interested in something and you wanna learn it, go learn it and then you can come teach us. And that'll help you learn it even more. Right, yeah, correct. But every time Srikant teaches me something, I'm, uh, I'm always blown away because he's uh, such a brilliant guy. Yeah, that's right, he is. Thank you. But in our own ways, each of us, we have something that we can contribute. Like, I'm sure there's yeah, something exactly. that... You're very knowledgeable about Sam that you can teach us even. So um, don't be afraid to share those things. If there's something that you want to teach us, just uh, say in the chat, like, hey, like, let's go over this. I have been studying this. I think this is helpful. Like, what do you guys think? And then we'll say, yeah, yeah, let's do it. You know? Yeah, sure. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's close it for today. And, um, uh, just uh, keep practicing in your free time and uh, if you have opportunity to uh, either work on Mesfin's portfolio or like some of your own thing I don't know just like share your progress uh, in the meantime but we'll meet back again tomorrow okay okay bye guys thank all right bye-bye thank you Sri bye all right all right bye-bye